One bam baloo wow and one bam boom. Hello and welcome to Drinking Irish. I'm Emmett Ryan and that was my best attempt at a deadpan tribute to Little Richard who of course passed away we just learned. And uh, this show is not however about being downbeat and uh, the beer we're going for tonight definitely wouldn't be considered too fruity uh, but it's definitely one which a lot of you know. It's one of the more established beers that we've known. Five Lamps Dublin Lager. So before I get into the beer, before I even crack it open, got to give a shout out to Scotty McLean, which I wasn't, he hadn't asked for one, I wasn't planning on it, but Scotty doesn't get time zones, baby. About 1.30 in the morning last night, Scotty, who's in Atlanta, <laughs> tried to get me on a group video call. It's like, Scotty, baby, I love you, but uh, I was very much on the way to sleep at that stage. Uh, so listen, love me Zoom points, all good for that, but uh, at that hour, Scotty, no, mate, no. I love you. I love you still, though. So, let's... Oh, I found you in the can once. I always show it twice, don't I? Five lamps Dublin Lager. There you go. 4.2%. And, uh, ah, I think we'll read the inscription for once. If you're ever fortunate, to get, fortunate enough to get lost in Dublin, there are a few things you should know. Like, if anyone asks you, do you know the five lamps? There is no right answer. You see, traditionally, directions given from the five lamps can be a little challenging to your anatomy. In fact, for such a famous light source, directions given from there can be a little less than illuminating. Truth is, you're much better off sticking to what you know, and now that you've discovered our five lamps Dublin Lager, we think you'll find your way back. Do you know the five lamps? You do now. And, uh, yeah, of course, they uh, run the old palace now as a sports bar, well, when things are open. Uh, lovely little spot, and, uh, yeah, it's great. It reminds me of my whole time zones thing, though, because, obviously, I'm a big basketball fan, but sadly, all the good NBA games, for the most part, aren't on at reasonable hours for those of us on the side of the Atlantic. Smells like a lager. I'm not going to be doing too much deep taste tasting. With a lager, you know what you're getting. It's straight, it's simple, it's crisp. Uh, I can say this before I even had it. The question is, is it good or not? And the answer is yes. Now, I say that, but like, obviously you've got styles of lager within them. But when you're going for a traditional lager, there's a certain type we go for. And uh, this one, it's nice. It hits the spot. I'm having this before dinner, which is... Ideal beer to have as a before dinner beer as well because it's not too strong, only 4.2%, very, very much in the session range. Smooth and simple. That's what more can I ask for. Like, this is such a great summer beer as well. Like, it works year round, like it's lager, but like uh, the softness of this, really, the texture going down. Like, after a match at a barbecue, good weather like we had today it's what you want now admittedly my afternoon picnic uh, thanks to Bangi involved Prosecco uh, and some snacks so that was a bit different but you know we don't make Prosecco here in Ireland I know there is Lusca wine but I don't think there's Lusca Prosecco uh, and uh, I think it was Matt Nugent the, the wine reviewer who said it to me once when he was telling the story about how friends of his asked him to bring him Lusca over from Ireland to France he said I will on one condition you don't drink it in my presence. Now, not giving out of it, not trying to mock the Luska guy. It's great that they're making wine, but it's just obviously it's very hard to get the grapes that are for wine in this country uh, to grow them. So to make any wine in this country is frankly an achievement. And what I like is it's just enough there that if you want to, you can very naturally slow drink this. Like you can, you can bang through these. I mean, you really can. There's just enough dryness in the aftertaste that you can naturally take a second, naturally embrace it, naturally enjoy it. And yeah, it's a great simple lager. It gets the job done and it's made here in Dublin. So uh, listen, that's what we're doing. We're supporting breweries who make beer right here. Uh, be it Dublin, be it Carlo, be it Antrim, be it wherever, the whole island, we're supporting them. And that's what I want you to do. Keep supporting our breweries. We're going strong, um, we're keeping at it. And I want you to keep showing the love to the brewers we've got in this country and uh, this island uh, because they need your support. And on that note, enjoy your Saturday evening. Slauncha live galere.